welcome back to the Thaumat Parish. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this lady just revealed a couple of things that my dad and her were bumping up these for a while. Um, and she was claiming that she didn't love him, but uh, I have a sense that she kind of is. Uh, but we're here for one purpose and one purpose only. To capture Atkins. Oh, what's happening? Where is Atkins? Oh, there, there he is. Vares. <laughs> Don't run away. I'm coming to get you. Splendid ladies, distinguished gentlemen, the hour is at hand. With lights dimmed and the curtains drawn, the souls of the dead slowly gather among us. On their command, I will give the chosen big, among big you no. a tarot card as your invitation to the right, table. Using a mouse. Using a gamepad. For you, sir? Tarot card, let's see. Uh, of course, you can't have one. The card almost burns with the emotions left on. Thaumaturge must have put all the hostilities you could summon into the card. Hostility towards me. Maybe I'll join the seance soon. Only out of spite. Fool. Our dear madame is fooling around and thinks you can scare me off. I'm done wasting time on this. Let us gather in secret ritual. Let's not keep the souls waiting too long. Let us also make every effort together not to spoil their visit. Madam Samira asked to cover the windows and then lights the sands of cards in certain forests of the apartment to the apartment. Must be kept in darkness until it's over. Uh-huh. Sure. Oh. So many sparklies now. This is from Sophia. Crystal mirror. Arranging an unruly strand of hair, she's thinking of Theophil Skalski, madly in love with her. Willing to do anything for her. So, she gave him an impossible task. Trying to comply, he set off to Africa and died tragically, squandering his family's fortune. What a piece of shit. Oh my god. Joy drifts over the mirror's surface. Her heart throbs when everyone is looking. When her name echoes everywhere. Yeah. What if... Uh, so what if some lose their heads for her, literally? It only makes for better stories. Yeah, I thought she was actually kind of cool, but uh, now she's kind of just a piece of shit. Never mind. Maybe it is Sophia then. Ashtray. From someone unknown. Spoken was accompanied by a joyful conversation. Sophia's friends were happy when she came with them despite her father's ban. They liked to watch her clever intrigues and provide them with topics for gossip. These cigarette butts have women's lips mark or women's, women's lips mark on them. Uh, I'm guessing lipstick. If only their father saw what they were doing. Sophia spreads her wings when she is out of her father's sight, watching her scheming is sheer pleasure. So this is like the flaw of scheming. An unknown trace again. A frustrating thought penetrated Sergei's mind as he sat on a chair. Well, it's Sergei then, uh, watching Sophia from afar. Why did Sophia suddenly start ignoring him? He would do anything for her if he asked, or if she asked. The problem is that Sophia won't speak at all. She takes no notice of him anymore. What? Oh. Hold on. Let's just make sure I got all the sparkly from everywhere else. Did good. Now I can properly draw a conclusion. Well, 
Maybe not yet. Father's letters to Svetlana were very tender and romantic. I would not have expected this from him. Uh, if these letters had fallen into the wrong hands, they could have done a lot of damage to the lovers. Hmm. He's saying it's Svetlana, but I don't think so. I think it's actually Sophia. Because she, I mean, Svetlana has some secrets, but Sophia just seems like an absolute piece of shit. Um, yeah, go in the corner and just find something else. Hmm. Unless the conclusion is going to be drawn from just talking to her. These are just rooms, if I remember correctly, it is. Okay. So we just got to talk to her. Sophia. I mean, actually, I'm kind of glad that you are a piece of shit, because you create... Apparently, you just have to be, like, such a bad person that it creates its own emotion demon. And I can take advantage of that by taking it from them. Mr. Shulsky, may I have a word? How can I help? My friends and I are just playing truth order, and now it's my turn. Won't you dazzle me with your powers? Your father would not be thrilled about you playing games with the Thaumaturge. I think that's the reason why she Maybe wants that's precisely to do it. the yeah. point. To keep violating his wishes? And how might my powers prove useful to you, miss? Well, rather than the truth, a dare sounds good to me. It involves finding out my comrades' secrets. Irina, Maxim, or Sergei. The trick is that you're cleverer at it than I am. Your companions don't have anything against a little ruse like this? I don't think she cares. It's not deception. It's resourcefulness. In the theory, there's no rule against asking for help. Please don't make me back, Mr. Shulski. Let me see what I can find. Will any secret do? Any. I'll wait anxiously for your return. I mean, that's a very broad... I'll take a look around. ...thing. Any secret. You can say, one time I stubbed my toe on a cat when I was younger. That's that's a stupid secret and it counts. Uh, Sophia's galaxy press. I agreed to play truth or dare to help her complete her task. She and her companions are only looking for a distraction by learning more about each other. I could use that to my advantage. Why? I don't. I don't really know. Oh. Hello. Gotta yeah, remember just to keep, just keep, uh, just keep snapping. Decorative vase stands on the piano. There's no flowers in it. Uh, the vase reflects the strong emotions bubbling up, surging. Jealousy mixed with fear. Jealousy is directed at me, as he considers me his rival. Fear that Sophia will ignore him when I'm around. It's all about Sergey. Iron secrets. Sergey can't stop thinking about Sophia. He cares about her so much he's willing to do anything for her. Can't understand why Sophia doesn't reciprocate his feelings, which frustrates him. He considers me a rival admirer. Well, I sure hope I'm not. Decker your sofa. She sat on the sofa watching the crowd. Usually flirtatious and playful, she felt the overwhelming emptiness. Or overwhelming emptiness at that moment, which was something new for her. A feeling of loneliness. A need to belong. It only lasted a moment. And she grinned and continued the same old charade. Now it's this one here. Fuck moves. Irina uh, wound leaves around wound. Leaves around a <laughs> wound. Wound leaves around her finger with abandon, with abandon and plucked them the street, immersed in thought. Sophia's charade and Maxim. She might, uh, she might walk up to him, but no, she won't. Have, she won't. Oh God, sorry, got the hiccups. Um, hesitant, she eventually failed to make. Them. Hesitancy prevents Irina from making a decision. She feels torn. She would like to indulge herself and spend some time with Maxim, but she cannot make a move. 
Thus, she's in the lead, going over all possible scenarios. What's over here? Glass. Numerous empty glasses indicate someone here is a fast drinker. Sip by sip, sip by sip. Maximus swigs alcohol as he watches the surroundings, focusing mainly on the ladies and longing for companionship. Arena is looking pretty. The loner secrets. Maxim is lonely, as we all are from time to time. He tries to drown his feelings in alcohol, but the effect is the opposite of his intentions. His attention is drawn by Sophia Scallon's friend. We got over here. Nothing. Huh. Well, I've got a few secrets. Anything in here? No? Alright. Let's talk to her as soon as she has. They are getting impatient. What have you found out? Quite a few things, actually. Give Sophia her fan. Parlons the secrets. I found your fan. Oh, and I was just thinking that I hadn't remembered where I'd left it. Very interesting. The fan revealed to me that you dropped it on purpose. Oh, you've got me. I was hoping the right person would find it. Oh, yeah? And here we are. It worked. Oh, I was wondering where you'd gone off to. You know Sergei, don't you? We're already acquainted. Mr. Shulsky and I have completed my extra difficult dirt together. At your service. Now, time for truth. Yep. Are you seeing anyone? She's doing this on purpose. She knows that Sergei likes her. Beautiful question. Sophia seems to be toying with me. He's boldly asking about my problem dad. Looking for strength in her own purpose. I only wonder if she's toying with her Victor Schultz person or the phone. God damn, there's a lot of conclusions. Sophia Scallon. The scheming of Scallon's daughter has made her the elite's favorite. Her plots provide distraction and make up content of keenly spread gossip. At the moment, I am the object of her gaze. She's teasing me despite her father, who hates thaumaturgies. Or is it just a charade to mask her loneliness? Um, my heart's already taken. My heart is already taken. By who? I don't know. I was counting on a different response. Mr. Shulsky, our time is up. Sophia and I must leave for the seance. Madame is waiting. Maybe I should have Thank you once avoided more. it. I do See. want that snake thingy. I do want her actions. That doesn't Therefore, sound right. Vales chased Sophia Scowan and her floor here. Oh, chase. She seemed like such an innocent girl. So it doesn't, she? doesn't create demons. Demons Unless are attracted to her floor. That makes her admirer a deadly trip to Africa. It's no coincidence you focused on me. After all, old Scowan hates Thaumaturgis. The little scamp. If I want to discern that little schemer's flaw, I'll have to join that sepulchral table. Either her scheming or her jealous knight in shining armor will help me identify her flaw. I hope her father doesn't find out. I mean, I think he's obviously going to find out. Sophia Scanlon's flaw. I bet the game of truth is there. Something flickered around Sophia Scanlon. Flaw induced by scheming. It fits. After all, Sophia has a fondness for high society and playing games. Mm hmm. Sally Tour at the Imperial Hotel. Bellis, the insider, is lured by the flaw of the schemer, Sophia Scanlon. In order to capture him, I'll have to play by the rules here. Which means exposing Sophia to some stirring experience. I sense that a scandal is inevitable. Hmm. Right, yeah, let's talk to Ligia. See what she Did has to I say. see that you've met this Madame person? Unfortunately, Svetlana doesn't want to breathe a word of it. I'm sure she doesn't trust you. In company like this, that speaks well of her. Why the cold shoulder, Ligia? I've never liked her. Her manner gets under my skin. 
I've heard she's a dreadful schemer. Not as dreadful <laughs> as, uh... Oh god, what is her name again? Sophia? Yep. Did you know that Papa had an affair with the host of this party? Uh, are you sure? Very sure. Absolutely. As sure as the thermometers can be. I felt what he felt when, mm -hmm. uh, well, you know. Oh, stop. That's disgusting. Quickly, change the subject. All right. Are you, you enjoying yourself in this Viper's Den? Oh, the vodka is quite tolerable. Did I already ask this? I already did. I'm observing my own brother taking out his anger on ordinary mortals. All right. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, because I didn't. I'm going. being very nice. That was a nice boy. Um, I don't want to talk to her anymore, and I don't think it's going to give me... Again! No, this isn't a tutorial. The tutorial was long... Oh, uh, no! Oh, okay. Is this seat free? The energy is dissipating. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I am losing contact with his souls. Well, it was the souls that chose me after all. It's true. The gentleman has a card. <laughs> Sophie's getting a little... Oh, she gave me that with her fan, I think. Let us do. lay our hands on the table. Let us allow our minds to liberate themselves from our bodies toward the edges of the world as you know it. Are you thinking of someone exceptional whom you wish to summon? That's exactly the sort of person I had in mind. Oh, is it a long lost love? Rather a future delightful acquaintance. Leave her alone. I mean, it's all Sergei, just a... this has nothing to do with you. Dear guests, I implore you, the souls! Your devotion goes unnoticed, and you know full well why that is. I do! I am your father. <laughs> Chicken man, not Looking yours, go. aren't I? Quiet, please. Well, this will make your companions happy, making fools of people, heaven forbid. Sit down. My poor heart. <laughs> oh, Focus on someone heart. you want to make contact with. Spells. Sure. There is one soul I'd like to summon. Whom do you mean? Teofil Skalski. Does that name mean anything to you? The poor man drowned on the way to Africa, didn't he? No, it wasn't like that. I didn't know he would be killed. Are you planning a similar fate for Sergei? All this just to get under your father's skin? So dun, what if dun, it was? Dun. Do you know what it's like to live in the shadow of a cold, absent father? father? Rings a bell. Is it such a sin to want to be loved? The powers you and your kind have are terrifying. Yeah. That's why Kinda they all hate you. That's why my father is cracking down on you. Uh, All that matters is I have what I wanted. Don't you dare! Oh. <sighs> Full competition now. You were supposed to stay away. I was supposed to leave here with Velis. All that work for nothing. Yeah, they were equal. Spare yourself the trouble. It was a fair fight. But I don't intend to hold you here. Truth be told, I even feel sorry for you. What does that mean? Rid yourself of the pride you've got within. Otherwise, that arrogance? it will lead you to the gallows. 
That's not what the subtitle Enough of says. This. There's a sanitor waiting for me. Enjoy him, fool. Guy. I like his art. <laughs> Alright, uh, I don't think I need to improve anything. Everything's pretty high up there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wait, because I wanna improve. Okay, start the fight. Hmm. You know what else I actually bought? Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Good luck, kiss. This is what's gonna happen first. This is your chance of dealing double damage. It's gonna. Oh, he's gonna do that to one of his guys. Okay. Okay. Suffering state, right? Give me some suffering. <laughs> yeah, now he has double damage. That's besides the area first. Don't save it straight. And then something's gonna be cast on both. I forget what the second action is. Thirty-three percent chance of actually killing him. Sure. Bloody pimples, sure. Pew! Oh. I could just pop the other guy with this. Oh. And he gone. Three people, yep. Shoo. Huh. Actually, that's not a bad idea. That might kill her. Shoot the lady. Oh, didn't even need to do it. Look at me go. Hmm. 
Uh, I'm gonna kill him before that. Uh, yeah, because I need to get that. That's out of my way. Ouch. No, he's not. He's going back. That should be the end of it. Yeah. Just wait until Rasputin sees you. Then you'll stop fighting me. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this evening the souls were particularly restless. Sophia? Did you enjoy the show? My best so far. So, I suppose now is the time to applaud. And you, sir, what can you tell us? Yep. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Be the nice Let dad. it sink in that you're free, finally. Neither your father nor your environment... Good job, chicken you. man. Everyone Give heard those atrocious words from my lips. I can't undo that. But you're right. You freed me. I know what it means to live in the shadow of a father. Light to her. But that's all behind me now. What did you do? Regardless of looking like I'm a corpse right now. I met someone who helped me undo the mistakes I made because of my father. It sounds like that was someone very dear to you. What's going on here? The guests are complaining, and with good cause, I see. Yeah. We're terminating this disaster. Farewell, Viktor Shulsky. See you. No, I don't think so. Will the gentleman with a book be leaving peacefully, or should we show him out? No need. I can make it to the door. I mean, maybe. Do you see me? Madame, honored guests. Victor, don't scare me like that. Oh, this. Oh, God. Mr. Sursky. Oh, the texture. Right. There we go. I think it's time for us to go. Oh, snug us a carriage. Snug us. You'll have a hard time at this hour. I'll drop you off. See, you can always count on Mr. Konechkin. Victor. Thank you. That's very polite. Thank you, Mr. Kanitkin. But now I finally have my fourth Sally tour. That means I can continue my side quest that I wanted to do. Find out who the real fisherman killer is, hopefully. Unless they already like executed the other guy, then whoopsie. Thank you for an interesting oh, oh evening. Oh god. It was a tough time loading in, huh? I'm sorry it all turned out like this. Not tonight, please. Konechkin is up to something. Victor, if not for him, uh, he really helped us tonight. How did I don't want to talk about it? How did he help us out by giving us a ride Good home? Good night. Oh my, that sure is noisy. Talk to Rasputin. For some reason, he knows I caught another one. I don't know Hello. how. Hello. Oh, why not? Hello, Victor. 
speaking. Victor, Uncle Sasha here. How are you? Have you visited your old stomping ground yet? I've rediscovered some things like a comfortable bed. The city has changed a lot, as have we all. The most important thing to me right now is retrieving my father's grimoire. Your grimoire? I wish you luck, boy. Is there any specific reason why you're calling me? I wanted to... Uh, need. I need your help, boy. It's a very delicate matter. Are you able to find a moment for your uncle? All right. So where should we meet? Yeah, Remember where I took your kids for donuts? Uh, I do. <laughs> Let's meet there. Maybe we can reminisce about the old days. Better days. See you then, Victor. Thank you. Jeez. Um. Let's see. Nothing here. All right. Well, that'll do it for now. Got my big old snake man. Uh, there he is. I gotta tame him first. So I gotta go see Raspiopent, and hopefully he'll be able to help me out with that. Mm. And I'll be able to continue on with the side stories until I hit another roadblock. But who knows when that will happen? But thank you for watching, and I will catch you all later.